G'day and welcome back to Buildsum and in this video I want to have a quick look at retaining walls not so much the wall itself because generally they'll be a patented system or they'll be designed by a structural engineer but more about what we have to do behind the wall to help stop it from uh, collapsing in a later date so as you can see here's my retaining wall and I've got a lot of fill that I'm going to bring in behind here and so there's the fill the thing is we don't want to have the fill come hard up against our retaining wall um, especially if it's not uh, the retaining wall won't allow water to pass through it because all this soil will retain water and if we don't get rid of it we're effectively going to double the weight or could double or more the weight of our soil that's been retained so what we want to do is we actually want to hold or keep the fill back off our wall a couple of hundred three hundred mil and I know that physically you won't be able to do this you'll actually have to bring a bit of fill in put a bit in behind the wall bring a bit more fill do it in steps but this is the uh, easiest way to draw it so we actually have to end up with a, a gap or a line behind our wall that we're going to fill up with a different type of material so the first thing we're going to do is at the bottom we're going to put a, a sand bed now 50 to 100 mil just to take um, a agri pipe, agricultural pipe so these are commonly black corrugated plastic flexible hose and they have a lot of little slots in them that actually allows the water to get into the pipe so any water that comes through the ground will flow down into this pipe, into the pipe, and then follow the pipe out and around our wall and into our um, storm water system or into any other um, system we have up to dispose of our storm water. So on top of our pipe, we're going to put in some well draining uh, material. Could be blue metal or recycled uh, crushed concrete. It's pretty popular nowadays but basically something that's going to allow the water to pass through it pretty easily so again any water that comes through our fill will hit this layer and it will fall quickly down to our egg pipe and around the wall now there's always going to be a problem with our fill migrating into our well draining material so you can use a geotech fabric to stop the fine particles getting into our our coarse aggregate both up this side and especially over the top we definitely need it over the top here and that will just stop fine particles of sand from here filling this up and making it worthless on top just so nothing looks different we just add a similar material to our fill topsoil or whatever it's just so that you don't notice that it's there and there we go that's our system behind our retaining wall so sand bed ag pipe a good draining type fill and then just a layer on top just to hide it all